see I got my life back. God took control and I call that a life hack. Hey there, Zach here and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about movies uh, that you might want to own to start your own 4K collection. Uh, these are some of the first movies that I got on 4K and thought they could be of help to you as you maybe look to start your own 4K collection or things you may have missed. Uh, but before we get into it, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for all the love on my uh, 4K uh, collection video that I posted a couple weeks ago. I've just had a lot of stuff going on in life and haven't been able to get around to the channel the last couple weeks. Uh, but excited to make more content for y'all. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to cheat a lot here. Um, I've got 10 recommendations for you, but I probably have 20 something movies here because uh, I do want to cheat a little bit and, and give you a bit more bang for your buck here. But anyway, uh, the first recommendation are the Alfred Hitchcock Classics Collections, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, the reason I recommend these um, is you get nine uh, 4K movies by Alfred Hitchcock with the restorations done very, very well. And around Black Friday, you can snag both of these uh, for $70-ish total, uh, maybe even cheaper if you shop on Groove.com. You can get really good deals on these. Um, the 4Ks, are they, they look incredible. And if you're looking to add a lot of movies to your 4K collection quickly for low cost, um, I think these two options here are the way to go. The, the first volume has more of his iconic movies, and the second one has some deep cut Deep, uh, deep cut stuff, but there's a third volume I think coming out this uh, this summer maybe. Um, interested to see what will be on that. But uh, my first recommendation would be these two things. They come in great packaging. I really like what Universal does with these. And uh, yeah, huge recommendation for me. And if you're starting your collection, you can add nine movies very quickly for a pretty cheap price. Uh, so go ahead and pick these up. Uh, my second recommendation is another box set that you can grab for pretty cheap, depending on the time of year. Um, and it's the Back to the Future Ultimate Trilogy Collection. You can get this for as low as uh, like $30 I've seen, which is pretty crazy. Um, and all the movies look great. Uh, another universal release. And once again, you can add three more movies to your collection uh, for a pretty cheap price. So Back to the Future, I would absolutely recommend this. It has a lot of bonus features. Um, it's pretty much the same stuff as that was on the Blu-ray, but um, the movies all look great. My third recommendation is a single movie, uh, but it's one of the greatest of all time. And I personally think it might be the greatest 4K release um, of all time, at least to this point. Um, and it's Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. I was fortunate enough to get this very cheap uh, with the art card or with the, with the production cards. And the, the box case, I don't know if they're still doing that anymore, but um, this is another one you can get for pretty cheap, less than 20 bucks um, a lot of the time. And uh, it, I, like I said, I think it's the best 4K release of all time. Um, as far as picture quality goes, uh, it's just absolutely remarkable. Um, and you should definitely pick this one up. If you can find it with the box, I would recommend that just because it's a cool addition to kind of show off on your shelves and whatnot. Uh, the fourth recommendation is similar to that one. It's another great looking 4K release. Um, uh, one, one of the best ever in my opinion. Most of these are, but um, the Apocalypse Now final cut set. You fold it out, has all the different cuts on 4K and comes in this nice little pack. I wish there was a little slip that kind of went over top of it because it can kind of slide around and whatnot. And mine's got a pretty bad like spine slash right here, right here. Um, but this is very cheap. You can get this for like 15 bucks for all the different editions of the movie, plus like obviously the 4Ks of those two. Um, so yeah, check this out. You can get it for real cheap and the movie looks great and it has a ton of bonus. So um, the Apocalypse Now, the final cut uh, box set, I think is, is, is a great one. And the fifth one here is a personal favorite of mine. I guess, again, all these kind of are, but um, this is uh, the Jaws Lenticular 4K set. Comes with um, a nice booklet and the movie, obviously, um, but super nice packaging. Another one that you can get for super cheap, uh, 15 bucks or so maybe, um, maybe 20 if on, on a bad day, but um, this is another one you could snag for real cheap. It looks great on the shelf and the transfer is remarkable. It looks incredible. So Jaws on 4K would absolutely recommend that one. And you can tell a lot of these movies are old. Um, and I, I love 
uh, older movies, and I love extremely old movies as well, and there's some great releases there uh, worth adding to the collection. I'm gonna show off uh, three here for you. Uh, Casablanca, Singing in the Rain, and The Wizard of Oz, all very classic, um, all-timer uh, type movies that all have great 4K releases that you can get for a decent price, it was 15 bucks or so, and I uh, would absolutely recommend all three of these. Um, the work that was done by by Warner Brothers on all three of these is pretty uh, is pretty special stuff. So uh, I know these two came out last year. Wizard of Oz is a little bit older, but um, yeah, I, I would recommend very very old movies. They look great on 4K and are worth checking out. And next up, uh, before we move on to some like newer stuff. Um, I'm a big horror movie fan. I've gotten into those over the last couple of years and just wanted to shout out a couple of horror movies that I think look great on 4K. You have Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, the second Kubrick film in this video, and then uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. I think both of these look really good on 4K and I uh, would, would recommend these. They also, uh, you can catch them on sale for pretty cheap every now and then, uh, which is great as well. So, so yeah. Moving into um, some of the contemporary stuff, uh, just some of the newer, newer movies uh if you're looking to start a 4k collection um anything by christopher nolan uh is great he's not my favorite filmmaker um but it's undeniable that his movies look great on 4k specifically um tenet uh was my reference movie for a long time like if my family wanted to know what 4k was all about i'd show them the opening scene basically of tenet uh it's it's really really good stuff and then interstellar and dunkirk both look awesome too uh, so you can't go wrong with anything Christopher Nolan. These are usually a bit more pricey, though. I will say at Black Friday, I got Interstellar with the slipcover for 8 bucks on 4K. And Tenet also drops in price to about 10 bucks. Dunkirk is kind of the tough one. I, I was able to find... Um, I bought it new and then found a slipcover at a, at a used as a, at a used store and, and slid it on here. So I have a slipcover. But Dunkirk's usually a bit more expensive than the other two, but... Um, all three of those that I have are great, um, and I have the Dark Knight trilogy as well. Um, which, which all three of those movies look pretty good. So, anything by Christopher Nolan uh, looks great on 4K, as he often shoots with 70 millimeter. So that's pretty cool. And finally, just two more kind of contemporary, contemporary newer, newer movies. Um, one that that isn't actually a, a great movie, um, but if you're looking for stuff to kind of show off to people, um, like how how good it looks and like it's just something you should have in your collection uh, it's gemini man uh the the high frame rate stuff on here is super interesting the the picture quality is incredible and um, like i said it's not the best movie ever made um but uh that you can't deny that the 4k disc is is something pretty special so that's gemini man and finally uh i've got top gun maverick on 4k uh, this came out last year. If you're looking for a movie everybody's seen that you can show anybody and they're going to be blown away by it, uh, Top Gun Maverick on 4K uh, is, is is well worth the pickup and uh, it will blow people away when you show it to them. So Top Gun Maverick, that's my last recommendation. So yeah, there was 10 pseudo recommendations total in here. You've got the Alfred Hitchcock's classic uh, collections, uh, Volume 1 and 2, the Back to the Future uh trilogy uh 2001 a space odyssey apocalypse now jaws uh s some really old movies uh so casablanca singing in the rain wizard of oz some horror movies with the thing and the shining um the uh, christopher nolan uh movies and then gemini man and top gun maverick gets us to 10 technically even though there's probably closer to 20 to 25 movies than all that I just mentioned. So uh, that's just some movies. If you're looking to start your collection, what I would recommend uh, just kind of starting with and and uh, and checking out as you as you look to build out your collection. Stuff that you can add a bunch of movies quickly, but also stuff that looks really, really good and stuff that you can show off. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos here very soon, and I'll catch you next time. Looking at me now, yeah, see I got my life back God took control and I call that a life hack